Hello and welcome back to all 498 of you avid consumers of PAX Day content and the nearly 60% of you who have not yet hit that subscribe button. I'm Eltari the Professional Gamer and this is another PAX Friday Review, the show where we talk about all of the fun, interesting, new, and exciting information that has dropped for PAX Day over the last week. This week we have a bunch of new and very creative screenshots detailing some really cool work by some of the players in the Friends and Family Alpha. We have forts, we have tree houses, we have boats, and we have a very large work in progress city perched in between a cliffside and a very scenic lake. These are all really exciting screenshots to be going over, and we're going to go ahead and get on to it. Before we get to them, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with any of your friends who might be interested in PAX Day, and as always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, so that you can be notified the next time that we come out with new content around PAX Day. Let's go ahead and get to these new screenshots. All right, so for today, we are going to be looking at some cities, some tree houses, villages, and some really creative work by some of the players in the Friends and Family Alpha. So this first screenshot that we have here looks to be a fort or a fortification. Now, the interesting thing that we see here is what looks to be one of those shrines that are located scattered around the map. We've seen a couple of screenshots of these before, but it looks like the players are trying to protect the area that's around this. We can also see two very different bridges in the background. We have what looks to be one of those prefabricated bridges that we were talking about in last week's episode, as well as some player crafted. This might actually just be a wall that's connected right here going all the way around. So this is a, this could be a very big wall project. Now, here is the first screenshot that we have a boat that is featured. Now, I believe quite a while ago, maybe three or four weeks ago, maybe even longer, we saw a screenshot over from the perspective of this cliffside over here, I think, looking this way. And one of the things that we saw was potentially a boat that was in the water. Well, now that we have a different angle here, looking at this really nicely done quaint little city right here, but we also are going to see two boats or what looks like boats. From this particular viewpoint, we can't really tell what's going on with the boat itself. But we can see that it has a mast, no sails, and it's pretty wide open there. It also looks like the hull is sitting maybe a little too far out of the water for it to be like actually sitting in the water and floating. And that makes me believe that this might be just a player's creativity coming out. Other than that, we have a couple of really nice little structures to point out. We have what looks to be a river house and also just look at this city there is a lot of uniqueness in here we have what looks to be a dock here with another boat which we'll look at in a little bit and this really massive cliffside castle it almost gives me a, a hint of helm's deep for some reason another thing that I'm just noticing now too, is it looks like there's a massive wall going all the way across on this hillside here. It makes me wonder what the heck that is or what is getting built there. But we can also see a little bit of a castle-like structure with the walls connecting to it right there. So that looks like a huge castle or wall type structure. Maybe it's even connected to this this wall that's over here because we can see the wall creeping all the way down and going over here. That might be one of the largest walls we've ever seen. All right, so now we have a kind of more close up image of this boat as well as this really huge, massive windowed structure here with a lot of supports and all of that. Almost kind of looks like a globe theater from the outside looking in, except if it was more square instead of globe-like. 
And then here is just a really nice screenshot encapsulating the entirety of this city. We can see that there's this really nice dock area with uh, tiered almost stairs going all the way around. Really well done. And then we have our last glimpse of a boat here. And this, I, I mean, it, you can see the railing that's used everywhere. It's very consistent with that. We've got the the wood ceilings here. This looks like staircases right here and right there, as well as some wood planks. And then this, to me, looks kind of like the plaster version of walls with maybe a door or a window there. Not like the brick and mortar style that's right here, but more of the tan looking build set for walls. That's what that looks like to me. And then I'm still trying to find out what the heck these are. It almost looks, if we're picking the pixels piece by piece, that these might actually be logs that are stacked on top of each other, much in the same way that these chevrons right here look to be logs that are all stacked on top of each other. That being said, this is an incredible creative effort, and there was a lot of detail that was put into all of this. And this castle that's built into the side of this cliff side is just wow it, it looks really well for the entire city and then we have this awesome almost like a lighthouse right here that's in the center or maybe it's supposed to be a bell tower or something like that really cool screenshot nicely done then here we have another example of some creative work that is being done i know some people on the main discord channel for pax day we're saying oh this looks like a water wheel or some kind of working wheel of some sort and i think this is just a very accurate representation of a medieval spinning wheel frame system but i believe all of this is just wood blocks and a log that's been connected and we have various different angled pieces now that to me tells me that we have straight vertical, we have what looks to be a 30 degree angle, and then we have a 45 degree angle, and then we have horizontal. So those are the angles, at least that are being worked with here. And that that is a very decent amount of variety from the get go to be having access to in the alpha. And it gives as you can see in all of these screenshots that we've been looking at over the last several months, just a huge amount of variety, but this is a very creative build and well thought out. And I hope it inspires mainframe to consider putting tools like this into the game and giving them a usefulness and giving them a purpose to actually have things like this built in game. Here we have a very nice riverside cabin i love the lighting that's done on this and then this is a nighttime shot of one of the wall sections from that massive wall that we saw in those screenshots in the back of the the fort or the just the massive great wall that was built it'll be really cool if if, if mainframe at one point adds triangular pieces for stone walls to make these seem more smooth and and more natural here is another screenshot at night. We have the stone structures and staircase going up here, plus some little wisps. Then another nighttime picture of a little bit further back from the wall slash tower that we are looking at right here. And then we also got a couple of pictures of some nighttime constellations. If any of you are good at playing connect the dots or recognize any of the constellations that are located here, please do leave a comment down below. I would be very interested to know what those are. In PAX Day, we actually did a video about this a couple of months ago, and you can see that video linked up above, but astronomy is going to be a major component in PAX Day, and they will be omens. The configuration of stars in the night sky can be omens for certain things to come they can also guide players in certain directions or the position of celestial bodies can unlock dungeons and and all of that so it's really really cool to see these various 
screenshots of constellations in game as it stands right now. All right, so then we got to the next set of screenshots for this week. And we have a very foresty village build. And this was another set of really creative buildings that the players made. And the first one is just a nice, what looks to be workshop house. And now we get the what? George of the Jungle on it. Watch out for that tree. We got the tree houses. So these are some really well done, tiny little tree houses. We can see that there was some extensive effort to build the supports for these stemming out from the tree. Now, one thing that I do wonder is if the tree is knocked down, what happens to the building? Are the, tr are the trees actually providing support for these structures or is that what all of these wood beams are? They're kind of merging through the trees and that they're the ones that are actually providing support. I would be really interested to see what happens when one of these trees is knocked down. <laughs> Whoa! Oops. Here's another close up of one of those tree houses. Now, obviously, they're very, very small. I don't know how much you can actually fit inside of those. It looks like it's just a three by two rectangle or, or might be a three by three square structure. I can't really tell, but it might not be able to store much, but it definitely looks really cool either way. Here's a couple more examples. I like how the flower pots are out here as well. Looks like this it might be a harvestable plant or a tree right here or a little sapling. Maybe you can actually plant trees and this is like a tree in the process of growing. I don't know. That would be really cool if it was though. And then just more examples of these. Now it definitely looks like these wood beams are using the trees for support they're only connecting to the trees so not only is the player doing some artistic designs and patterns with creating the support structure but these are also what's providing the support it's either that or somehow the player's getting support based off of just this staircase that's going up right here which i don't think is the case here's another tree house as well then we have an inside shot of what this actually looks like inside one of these. You can see how the tree is definitely clipping through stuff, which I don't know if that's going to be something that's going to be allowed in the final release, or if, for example, this tree gets chopped down, if it would actually be able to respawn because there's other stuff in its place and it won't respawn if it's colliding with stuff like this. So this might be a very niche build where if just one troll came by and decided now is the time to cut that tree down then that kind of ruins the whole look and vibe of this whole tree house because that tree would possibly not ever spawn again in the bottom right here on the utility bar it's always fun to take a look at these and see what we have looks like we have some some kind of stone that's right here and what looks to be a pile of sand or clay or something like that and then also some wood logs there and that is all that we have for this week i know that we had a lot of screenshots to go over and one of the things that i wanted to say is this is really cool that players are able to go and be creative and do all of this in the alpha right now they have the access to the building pieces and the building system is all supporting players being able to be creative and create things that they want to see that they want their characters to live in in game and that's really cool that we can already see this giant breadth of creative energy being pushed out into the game at such an early stage we're not even at an open alpha yet and there's already all of this wide variety and the fact that players are able to be so creative and to create 
such fun structures at such an early time and really test the limits of what this game is able to support. I don't think any developer at Mainframe was necessarily thinking, yeah, we need to build this system so players can build tree houses. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy this type of content. Share this video with any of your friends who might be interested in PAX Day and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified for any of my future videos that I push out for PAX Day. Until next time, I'm Iltari, the professional gamer.